Alright guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. We're in the Dragon Spear Caverns. Uh, we're deep in it. We have some Driders that we're fighting. At least I'm pretty sure they're called Driders. I haven't touched a D and D monster manual in a while. Um, and, but this is what I remember them being called. Um, drow spiders. So driders make sense. Uh, their deity loved the drow so much that turned them into one of her minions, basically. At least that's my understanding of the lore of how driders exist. But I could be wrong. All right. We're going to see here. I'm not really seeing anything there that is, uh... There's gotta be something over here. Yep, runestone. There we go. Ow. Oh, yeah. That's right. I hate these guys. Alright. Okay, this, this is getting a little dumb. Yeah, go ahead and... You guys, I'm going to use potions on. Because... This is getting dumb. Neighbor's laundry machine is going freaking haywire. <laughs> Alright. Um, it's got to be an exit there. All right, let's let's just take a quick look here. There's a bit of money that I missed. All right, uh, oh, a little bit more money that I missed. Wow, we spent a lot of money. We dropped by ten grand. All right, I mean, let's keep going, I guess. Oh, safe spot. Sweet. Uh, where are we? We're doing this one. All right. Ulkaloth's Lair. Sure, because that's what we need, I guess. Stop. Oh, look at all these dead bodies. Come here, my pet. Do not resist. Submit. Your will is my will. Your thoughts are like water to me. Ah, Jack. Yes. I am your friend and master. Jarek has given you a new task. To serve me. A strong mind. I cannot control this animal. Kill him, my pet. Jeez, they're adding mind flayers now, too? Holy hell. Alright, Ukulele. Uh, I am confused. Um, alright, he seems to be resistant, uh, you're not though. Okay, um, I am, I'm kind of stuck here. Okay, Ukulef, I only care about you right now. Because your minions are resistant to my attack. Wow, look at how, look at how much damage we do to it. This is making the boss fight a joke. Oh, um... We do need to, however, be careful about our health. Just gotta make sure that doesn't go down. Um, ow. Thank you, guys. Alright. You know what? I kind of want to get rid of these guys first. There we go. There's one. There's another. There's the third. Ow. There's another. Keep. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. There's a. There we go. All of your minions are dead. And boom. I recovered the Brazier of Eternal Flame, a bronze bowl, bronze bowl inlaid with jacinth runes from the body of Ulkaloth. It should be returned to Jarek at Baldur's Gate. Remarkable throwing dagger. Shoddy iron shield. Uh, money, money, money. Healing potion, healing potion. And that's it. 
but we do level up. Wow, we get 17 points. Um, okay, let's let's take a look here. Um, 30% damage reduction to magic. That's actually not bad. We have, okay, 17 points. Accuracy is 6. Endurance is 8. The evasion is 3. I don't want an odd number and then to go proved critical. Oh, but that only increases melee. Okay. Increases magic regeneration rate. That's something that we're going to want. Um, grants me additional magic points. Definitely. We'll do it again. <laughs> uh, I can't afford the forge lore. Accuracy. And then, I don't particularly care about precise shot, but we will do the smoke powder, oh, smoke powder pulse two. Let's do the evasion. Get me some uh, magic effect uh, resistance. That'll be good. Okay, so anything else here? No. I mean, there could be stuff over here. There's got to be a treasure chest or something. Yeah, and I'm assuming this goes right up outside the... Uh, ooh, open the door and then that goes somewhere. No, that's just a chest. Whatever mysterious force that held the cell doors closed has seemingly disappeared. Well, I'll, I'll take it. Remarkable full plate gloves. I have full plate gloves. So here's remarkable. Boom. That'll be good. It's probably like... I don't remember what's better. Remarkable or grand? I think it's grand. Um, but I mean in terms of... Like... Ow. Having magic... Uh, magical stuff and whatnot. It'll be good. Alright. Return to surface via escape tunnel. Yeah, that boss fight, uh, honestly, we made a really good weapon, <laughs> and that's kind of why the boss fight went that way. Oops, I hit the mic, because I am a stupid. All right, let's go talk to, what's his face over here? The Tempest guy. All right. Uh, where are you? There you are. All right, Cleric of Tempest. Greetings. So it returns. But alas, not with the priest who once carried it. Here, I ask that you take this as a reward. May Tempest be with you. Well, thank you. A remarkable flashing battle axe and 2,000 experience points. All right, I don't think we have anything left for him. There has been a shrine to Tempest on these... When the hero... Yep, we've already gone through all of that. Okay. So, I can recall. Get back to Baldur's Gate. Talk to Jareth. Get the next quest. Because we have one more item that we still need to get. And God, we're like 60 videos in. <laughs> Alright. And then we'll probably spend the rest of the video doing some, like, money stuff. Why not? Also, let me see that battle axe. Improved critical and combat reflexes. And that only gives me cleave. And so... This battle axe is better than that battle axe. So we'll probably break down the first battle axe. Although, if I'm going to go with the two-weapon, I should just go with the uh, great axe that I have, I feel. Um, I can never get this right. There we go. The priests of Tempest must have been sad to see you leave the halls of Dragonspear Castle. You recovered the brazier of Eternal Flame? Good. Here, your reward. 3,000 gold, 4,000 experience. All right, Oceanic Urn. The Oceanic Urn is an aquamarine-studded golden urn last seen in the hands of pirates based out of Seer's Cove. 
One of Rendala's ships could get you there, though you'd have to row ashore yourself. All right. Last item that we need to go get for Jarek. We're already a third of the way to a level up, too. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, so let's go do a little... Uh... You know what I think, though? I mean, we have a battle axe that is doing 30 to 40. Or great axe. Or... Yeah, superior great axe. Let's have a little bit of fun, I think. Um, although I need to find the thingy. There we go. Alright, so let's sell the stuff that I know I'm not going to need. Like this remarkable throwing dagger. Um, the full plate gloves and the shoddy iron shield. Um, I only have 12 of those, but... I what was that I picked up? A topaz? Ooh, okay. Alright, so let's go in the workshop. Break this down. And then also break this down. Alright, so let's sell. Because these are two-handed weapons. That's a two-handed weapon. So let's sell these. And then workshop the great axe. Okay, so we need rune stones just to do anything. So it has a combat reflexes there, which is pretty decent. More combat reflexes. Seeking arms and armor. And the, I have oh, what does Pearl do? Improved critical. Right eh, diamond is disintegrate undead. Cleave. That's a sapphire? Yeah. Ruby is bleeding. Jade is acid damage. Aquamarine is cold damage. Jet is I get armor. I get magical energy back. Add 20% to my minimum damage. Hot damn. The coral would be great. Alright, let's take a look uh, at what else we got. Um, just synth is fire damage. That, that lowers it down. But that's a lot of money. Topaz is shock damage. Ruby is the bleeding. It seems like if I add a second item, it does that. But let's... Is it just synth? Huh, it's changing its art, which is weird. So that's a 39 to 45. Superior Salamander's Great Axe, which adds 40% to the minimum damage, which isn't too bad. Let's, uh, let's, let's actually do, like, an, hold on. What do you got for me for armor? Iron Shield, any other sort of shield, plus one Remarkable Iron Shield. Um... Face scale mail? Ooh. Wait, what armor do I have? Just a fine scale mail? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this the face scale mail. Yeah. Let's sell that scale mail. Yes. So then I go. Yep, I'm shirtless. Boom. Beautiful. All right, so that helps increase my armor a tiny bit. Welcome All right, let's also go back into the workshop here. Bye. See what you got for the magical. Like, let's start um, trying to... Oh, you know what? I should have just bought the remarkable scale mail and then upgraded whatever the hell I wanted. Okay. Um... We're gonna buy more of these. There, I bought one of everything. There, we'll go down to four thousand dollars. So now I have minimally one of every. Um, he doesn't sell rubies. I could have swore he did. Welcome back. 
seeking arms and armor. Where's his rubies? Right here. He doesn't sell rubies anymore. Huh. Well, that kind of that kind of sucks. All right, so we spent basically all of our money. We have a new piece of armor, which gives us plus 10 magical energy and lowers our weight a little bit, which is good. Um, we have a lot more uh, rejuvenation potions because we're going to need those um, quite a bit. And in the next, uh, the next time that we have a crap ton of money, we're going to be upgrading like the superior great axe or you might end up doing like the remarkable full plate gloves or something just to end up increasing more of our stuff so uh that's gonna be it for now and when we come back we're gonna go and get the oceanic uh whatever it's called oceanic urn so thanks for watching guys and i will see you back here for more baldur's gate take care